Right. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Attorney Steve Vondren. Breaking legal news. All right. We're talking about a case here with Trump Media and Technology Group Corp. And I think that's known as Truth Social. That's the app that um, Trump and whoever else is in this venture put together. And um, I'm highlighting this because it's a unique um, type of defamation case that's filed in the state courts in Sarasota County, Florida, as opposed to being a federal court case. But it was an interesting twist on defamation, basically accusing all these media companies here, Hollywood Reporter, Guardian News, Reuters, um, uh, Forbes Media, The Daily Beast, everybody knows The Daily Beast, Salon, and others, basically conspiring to get together to, um, I suppose the theory is that they were coordinated here. Let's just look at the allegation. The case is about an unprecedented and seemingly coordinated media campaign by no less than 20 major media outlets to attack Trump Media and Technology Group and its social media platform, True Social, by falsely reporting that TMTG had lost 73 million. So uh, the, the number was utter fabrication. Each defendant in an apparent coordination reported the exact same false number within approximately 24 hours of one another, each citing to a publicly public security and exchange commission's filing in which the mystery $75, $30 million loss appears nowhere. So basically, he apparently uh, Trump Media Group is looking to sell or merge, I should say, with another company that's listed down here, um, Digital, what's it, whoops, sorry, must have passed it, uh, Digital World Acquisition Corp., which I looked up, it appears to be some type of holding company. Um, I don't want to say that wrong, Do check for yourself, I don't want to get sued here, but, <laughs> but anyway, um, basically saying a coordinated effort to damage TMTG's reputation, degrade the firm's financial standing, freeze its access to capital. If everybody thinks you're losing money, who's going to give you money? And torpedo the anticipated merger. So basically interfering, it's almost like an interference with contract type of claim or interference with prospective business advantage, two causes of action we have here in California. I don't know what they have in Florida. I'm not licensed in Florida. Anyway, it was all about uh, on November 13th, they submitted an S-4 registration, which marked, marked a major milestone toward the completion of the planned merger and TM, with TMG and TMTG and DWAC publicly stated the S-4 was very good news, was not very good news, was good news for TMTG because this filing involves TMTG and President Trump's true social, however, these defendants ignored and downplayed TMTG's public statements regarding a positive development. Instead, they deliberately or recklessly published false financial information to advance a preferred and coordinated narrative harmful to TMTG. So I guess in a way you could look, perhaps TMTG is a sort of competitor to these other outlets. I don't know if that's how they view it, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. Um, all defendants ran nearly identical headlines that reported some variation of Trump's true social having lost $73 million. On November 14th, DM TMTG contacted each of these media defendants, notifying them in writing of their error, specifying that their statements uh, about a proposed uh, supposed $73 million loss were false and defamatory and demanding a retraction and apology. So when you're in a defamation case, that's a really good first step. Give them a chance to say, hey, it was just a mistake. Yeah, let's correct that and, and note that. Um, to date, while some defendants have issued little noticed corrections or updates, none have retracted the defamatory articles, publicly apologized, or taken any other steps. So that's what led to the lawsuit here. Um, you can look at all the parties if you want to pause this and see who the parties are. I'll go here so you can kind of pause that if you want and see the different defendants at issue here. A lot of Delaware corporations. Why? Delaware is a good home for corporate defendants, a good established body of law, and lots of great lawyers out there to protect them. Okay, little tip for you. So... Um, Anyway, so I'm not going to repeat the facts here again, but here are some of the headlines. If you're wondering what did they look like, they created a chart 
um, showing here's the Hollywood Reporter on November 13th. They said this. Here was the body of the article. Miami Herald on the same date. They said this. A little variation, as you can see. Losing money, this, that, and the other. Um, Reuters going down here. Um, so, but they're all basically talking about the same message all on the same day, November 13th. So either they all got together or that was an amazing fact of uh, independent journalism that all seemed to break the news on the same day. So that was, um, that's the basis of his argument. So you can review these if you want. They're all basically the same with slight variations. All right. So um, anyway, so that's kind of what's going on. Uh, Trump is suing here basically two causes of action. One, defamation. Defamation per se. When you're attacking a business, you can also often seek defamation per se. Again, check Florida law. I'm not a Florida lawyer. Um, and basically defamation and injurious falsehoods. And I'm not sure what that is. That's a Florida varietal, Florida uh, common law cause of action looks like. It could be a statutory action. I don't know. Check with your Florida attorneys. But anyway, we'll keep you posted on this. What do you guys think? Does he have a chance to win this? Um, seeking here, by the way, I should probably point this out. Seeking awards, including punitive damages, $1.5 billion. There's lots of deep pocket defendants here. Will it succeed? Will there be a valid defense? We will find out. Put your comments down below. Love to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, also injunctive relief and so forth and so on, demand for jury trial. There's your attorney if you need more information with the Benal Law Group out of Florida. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And um, if you need help with a defense a defamation case in the state of California where I'm licensed or Arizona where I'm licensed, you know where to find us on the web at attorneysteve.com. That's attorneysteve.com. Thanks for watching. General legal information only, not legal advice. And if you need help, we look forward to working with you. Have a great day. Feel free to share this video on your social media networks. Gotta run. Busy day. Bye-bye.